Okay, so today is February 20th. I'm exactly nine weeks out. You guys know the routine by now. Two videos in, uh, quick little talk, routine videos, and then we get the day started, all right? So what we have here exactly, two eggs, one cup of egg whites, two tablespoons of bacon bits, one tablespoon of olive oil, two rice cakes, two tablespoons of peanut butter, and a little bit of cinnamon, which has no calories, so yeah, pretty much the exact same things I eat on a normal day-to-day -day basis, except the rice cakes, I usually just have the eggs in the morning and a protein shake which I will have and as soon as I finish this, I'll just down a protein shake and then should be at like s close to 70, it's like 60 to 70 grams of protein already for the day. <clears throat> so currently in this shaker cup here, we have one scoop of EHP Labs protein. Uh, it's a new flavor. It's uh, caramel chocolate, um, like candy bar flavor, <clears throat> and also one scoop of glycerol glutamine and one scoop of glutamine basically to help me recover a little bit faster than the average uh, person. So, uh, I think that's the fastest I've literally ever eaten anything, so I'm still hungry, but we gotta push through that shit. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it, it like filled me up, but not to the point where like, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm full. I was like, oh, that was good satiating food, but I could definitely eat more, but can't. Also, one thing that I've actually been doing for like five days now is diet soda. I've actually, it's zero cow, so whenever I get super hungry, I just put like, I get like a cup of this and I just sip on that. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do that for very much longer. I have, I'm hiring a coach in a week, so. So pre-workout meal today is 75 grams of jasmine rice, 5.43 ounces of chicken, and one little orange here. And basically this has given me enough carbs to have a decent ass workout, because we're now up to 100, so after this, after the workout, we'll have 100 left for the day. And I'm basically, uh, and then I'm gonna bring my scale with me to Qdoba and have them measure the food for me so that I can still eat Qdoba with everybody and I won't feel left out because then that'll hurt my emotional state more than, eh. This here is a very simple pre-workout concoction. We got water. We put the water just above the little ball that's in there, right? And then. 
right two. Two quick scoops of the pre the pump formula. And then we sip this on the way and eat this on the way. Against me, so I fall. We'll manifest our destiny. I want you here, right next to me. I wanna feel your skin on mine. No sense of full security. I wanna give you all that I can be. Don't you worry, baby. I'll never leave you behind. Don't you tell. So, just finished the workout, just did 30 minutes on the elliptical, which is my cardio of choice. Um, then, I didn't do abs, I did abs yesterday, and my shit's so sore, like, I've literally never been this sore before. Um, and so yeah, headed to Qdoba, I brought my scales, so hopefully they'll weigh my food for me. 
Um, if not, I'll just sit there while everybody else eats. Um, yeah, man, good workout. I mean, it looked pretty good. It felt good, too. So shout-out to Evan for recording for me. I know you probably didn't actually want to, but you were a fucking trooper, and you pulled through, and you actually did it for me. So I appreciate that very much. Um, yeah, I got a decent amount of calories left for the day, so let's, uh, let's go eat those. So I don't know what's going on, but there's literally a ton of people at Qdoba today, and usually there's nobody, we're the only ones there, and I'm a little confused, so I'm not gonna bring the camera in, um, but I will take a quick little video on my phone and show that, um, yeah. Basically, I'll catch back up with you guys on the big cam after I eat. I lied, um, <clears throat> I ate that food so fast, I literally forgot completely about taking a video or picture or anything of it. <clears throat> I was so hungry because the workout drained me. Um, but I can tell already that uh, the calorie deficit is taking a toll on my overall strength in the gym. Um, so you could tell because my inclined bench Obviously, even though it wasn't the first or second exercise, I would usually be doing 225 on that, and it was not 225 that I was doing today. So, I mean, it wasn't too big of a deal. Still get the good workout in. It's not really about the weight. It's about the stretch and the squeeze. So as long as you get a good stretch and a good squeeze with a decent amount of weight, enough to actually tear the fibers in, in the muscle, then you'll be building some muscle in no time. Also eat your protein tray. So real quick, I just ate, or I didn't eat, I just had two scoops of the um, UHP Labs protein shake. And then I'll probably have one more thing before I go to bed. But I'll film that and then that'll be the end of the video. So to finish off for the day, I have to eat two and a half oranges. Basically, she's going to have one and a half and I'm going to have two and a half. So we'll split one of them. And then that'll be it for the day. Um, finish off with about 205 carbs. Um, 222 protein, I think it was, and about 60 fat. So, a couple, uh, <laughs> couple calories over, but I'm not too stressed about it right now. If it's just like 5 to 10 calories, it's not a big deal. Um, but, yeah. What's all the YouTube stuff? Like the video. Smash the like button. <laughs> Say it. Smash that like button. That's it. <laughs> Nine weeks out, baby.